Howdy ho there. Now in this lesson, we're going to expand on our last video about groups. We're going to get into groups just a little bit further this time. And to start it off, we're going to control click a grid, which is, gives us our grid. Now we can turn off our work plane. Let's double click our grid to go inside and here we go. We have our grid, okay? The first thing we're going to do is right click on our output and lay down a transform. And we're going to translate this up in the Y. No magic number. About right there looks looks pretty good to me. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and add a sort node. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're gonna work with particles this time. So let's go ahead and add a sort node. Okay. And under the sort node options I'm gonna go up to point sort. Let's change that to random. Okay. So now if I go up to my points you can see that all the points numbers are randomized now ones here 97's up here whereas back before the sort node all of our numbers were in order one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so all the sort node did was randomize our point numbers okay so I'll turn the point numbers off so there we go okay so now from this sort node we're gonna work with a fairly old old node okay um, so we're going to right click and start typing particle. And we're going to lay down our particle node. And boom. Now as you can see in our particle node it gives us several options. We have our state, forces, particles. Let's go to our forces tab. And let's put an external force in the Y of negative 1. And hit return. Let's rewind back to the beginning here. And play and you can see yay we got some rain going on here. So let's go ahead and stop this. Let's go to our particle tab and let's take our birth to 2. Okay? And let's rewind back. Let's go ahead and visualize our grid. Let's turn the template onto our grid so we can see what's going on here. And now you can see we just have these points randomly dropping down here. And because we have our sort node set to randomize, yay, we got some rain. Okay? Fairly simple so far. This is made up of four nodes. Uh -huh. You know, the particle node being the main one. So let's see here. We got a life expectancy of a thousand. I guess we could up that a little bit to make it last a little bit longer. Let's see. Let's instead of doing that though, let's just go ahead and hit this little button over here and let's put our end to three thousand. Make it a three thousand frame say no. Now we have 3,000 frames and now when I scroll through here you can see yay we got some rain. All thanks to our sort node and our particle node. Okay. Alright now we've got that basic stuff set up. Now we need a collision. As you can see the middle part of our particle node input is for a collision. Okay so let's go back to our state here and let's check remove unused points. Let's let me go through here and look again. Forces looks good. Particles, birth of two looks good. And um, everything looks good for now. So let's go ahead and take our grid and pop it into the middle input of our particle node. That is the collision node, okay? So let's rewind and play. Now as you can see, our particles are dying when they hit that grid. Alright. So now let's go back to our particle node here. Now under our limits, let's go to split and say split on contact. Split velocity, let's make the Y 0.5. Let's make X in velocity variance 0.5. Velocity variance in Y 0. And velocity variance in Z 0.5. Okay, and now let me zoom in here real quick so you can see this. Now, as you can see, when our particles hit the grid, they are splitting into more than one particle. So let's back up here. Let's go forward. You can see here they come. Boom, boom, boom. You can see when they hit, they split like a drop of water would do. 
Let me just play this so it'll be kind of slower for you. You can see as they hit, they split into three separate particles. Okay? Pretty cool so far, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and stop that and rewind it to the beginning. Now there's a few more things we can do, and we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and set it up to, to do a little bit more. So let's go ahead and tab in a sphere. And let's down the radius to about 0.1. Okay. Now let's tab in a box. And let's bring the size down to about 0.1. Now I'm going to right click on the output and type copy to my sphere. And the same thing to my box. I'm going to append a copy node to each one. And we're going to need a merge node later to merge them all together. So go ahead and tab you in a merge node. It's preemptive. Okay, so now here we go. Now we have our copy shop and our sphere. So let's go in here and see what we can do with this. First, let's select our particle node, right click on the output, and type group. And we're going to lay down a group geometry node right here. And this is the very important node that we're going to be using to do all of our magic with. So let's go ahead and name our group to particle split. P-A-R-T-I-C-L-E, capital S-P-L-I-T. Particle split. We're going to use points under entity. Okay, now let's go to, um, let's see what we got here. Under combine, go to our combine tab, and we're going to create a new group, and we're going to call this new group falling particles. So I'm going to type F-A-L-L-I-N-G, capital P-A-R-T-I-C-L-E-S. Falling particles. And under this group over here, which I'm going to say everything in this group is equal to everything in this group, which is particle split, the, the group we made. So I'm going to select particle split. But instead of it being equal to, I'm going to say not equal to. Okay, I want to make sure it's not equal to. I'll make sure this group is not equal to this group. Okay. Now let's go back to our create. And we're going to go down to operation and we're going to group by expression. And we're going to put an expression in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use PT, P state. So just we can cover our expressions in deeper detail in an expressions video, but I'm not sure too many of you are too concerned about learning expressions. So here's the expression point bracket quotes period period forward slash particle one P A R T I C L E one because that's the name of our particle node as you can see down there's particle one okay and then I'm gonna put quotes again okay and I'm gonna put a comma I'm gonna put dollar sign capital PT comma quotes P S T A T E P state all lowercase and we to put quotes comma zero brackets equal equal zero return and that is the expression we are going to use let me go in here and expression let me edit my expression so you guys can get a good look at it before I close it down okay y'all got it okay so there we go that go ahead that goes goes ahead and gives us the expression we need under the group operation. We have our group name set to particle split and under our combine tab we have our new group following particles not equal to the particle split group and the particle split group is what? Just the name of our group node as you can see up here group name particle split. Okay. So now let's go ahead and drive our group right into this copy shop. Let's take the group into this copy shop. You can see our group is driving both copy shops. Okay. So we want the spheres to be our falling particles. So we're going to go to our copy shop. And under the template group, we're going to pick the group falling particles. Because we want our spheres to be the one falling. Okay. Now under the copy shop 2, under the template group, we're going to pick particle split. Because that's what, that's what we want to happen when the particles split. We want them to turn into a box. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that set up. So now let's take our copy shop, plug it into our merge, plug it into our merge. Let's take our grid and plug it into our merge as well. Let's visualize this. And let's go back to the beginning. And now I want you to watch when I push play, it will rain spheres. And when the spheres hit the grid, they will turn into, they will split, turn into boxes, and disappear. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, let me zoom in here just a little bit so you can see better. You can see we have our fallen spheres, and as soon as they hit, boom, they turn into boxes. And they disappear. Unless they fall off the edge of the grid, they disappear. Once they, once they hit a second time, they die except for the ones that bounce off the sides of the grid as you notice then they'll fall on down but the ones that come into contact with the grid die okay, and you can imagine you know we're using spheres and boxes here but you can imagine the endless possibilities if you wanted something to fall out of the sky and turn into a flower when it hits bloop, you know and you can see the node network here it's very very simple it's really just all about the group node and how you name your group node and how you direct your group node and in our particle node this expression is help driving a lot of it too under our state or well, our group node under our expression here so there we go this is a more advanced um, group node tutorial but I do hope you guys have took something from this if you don't quite understand everything that's going on that's okay that's okay just keep at it keep going and, and one of these days things will click for you it took forever for Houdini to click for me and to this day I still have trouble with Houdini. I still can't do a lot with Houdini. I'm, just, you know, I'm a basic user just like everybody else. Houdini's tough, but there'll come a day when things just click, and that will be when you understand how the node tree flows and operates. And once you get that down, and, and once you can get down your naming of stuff and how they can point to other nodes, you, you're, you'll get it. You'll get it. Just, just follow along with tutorials like this, even though you don't understand, because you are, you are working, you are learning, and um, I can understand Houdini can be daunting very very daunting so thank you very much for watching I look forward to future tutorials in Houdini with you guys and uh, I hope you all do too thanks for watching and happy modeling